Hello everyone, uh, this is Julio. Olá pessoal, aqui é o Julio. Welcome to Carioca Portuguese, where you will learn to talk like a Carioca, which I still don't know what it means, so that's the reason why I decided to make this video. Uh, once I was asked by a friend what, uh, what it means to speak uh, Carioca Portuguese, and uh, I found an interesting book with some uh, examples distinguishing the Carioca compared to other dialects. And uh, first I'd like to say that, uh, well, uh, I've been asked if there are dialects in Brazil, and uh, since I live in Japan where uh, the way that a person speaks might really affect communication. Uh, I'd rather, instead of using dialects, which is dialetos in Portuguese, I'd rather say, uh, use the word falares, which uh, is, is, it, it means uh, patois and refers mainly to vocabulary. So uh, today I'd like to show uh, how different the patois in, in Rio de Janeiro can be different from other um, uh, regions, yes. Uh, Okay, so may, basically, uh, from my perspective, uh, I see two types of Portuguese, so the Southern Portuguese and the Northern Portuguese, so uh, Portu Portuguese Sulista and Port Portuguese Nortista. So uh, we can see clearly the differences based on the pronunciation of consonants, and more clearly, uh, we can separate nor North and South with the pronunciation of the vowels, but uh, we get to that in, uh, in another video. Today, in order to... Um, can, to, in order to distinguish uh, Carioca Portuguese in other dialects, I like to say the following sentence in three uh, dialects or sayings, falares. Okay, so uh, okay, you can check the sentence below. I put it there, and then I'm gonna read it in the, in the way the Cariocas would say it. Okay, let me <coughs> let me concentrate so I mess up. Okay, uh, in Carioca Portuguese, the sentence would be Meu tio gosta de discutir temas políticos. One more time. Meu tio gosta de discutir temas políticos. Now I'm going to try to say the same sentence using the gaúcho pronunciation or southern pronunciation, which would be Meu tio gosta de discutir temas políticos. One more time. Meu tio gosta de discutir temas políticos. I, I hope it was convincing. And then last but not least, a way the North Northeast person would say nordestino. Meu tio gosta de discutir temas políticos. I mess up one more time. Meu tio gosta de discutir temas políticos. Okay, I hope I did it right. I'm not from the Northeast region, even though I have roots there. So, how did you feel about it? We, we can feel clearly that uh, the difference between uh, the Gaúcho or so, so, Southern accent and then the so, so, Southeast uh, Carioca accent, the main difference is the way that uh, S, the letter S and R are used, which means uh, in Carioca Portuguese we have the in the middle position, the R is like more like German, like, like uh, the French R, like uh, for instance if we say um, sorry, uh, is perdão, which is pretty close to pardon in French, so that's why it's easy for me to speak French. Perdão. And uh, that would be in, in southern dialects with perdão, perdão. The r, kind of a flap, I guess. And uh, so R and S distinguishes southern and uh, southeast Portuguese. And uh, when you get to uh, actually to uh, northeast Portuguese, we also, it was interesting because we have in the middle position we have this sh the schwa pronunciation, gosta, but they have a difference, different accent, so the gosta, meu tio gosta, I can do it right, but the, the pronunciation is different, the intonation is different, and uh, also in, in the final position, they don't have the kh. so uh, just uh, examples we had, discutir, discutir, so this final R in uh, North Swiss would be like a, a neutral sound, just discuti, 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 so I hope you got it, and uh, so yeah. And the thing is, what I wanted to point out is that uh, at least at a national level, when we're in Brazil, if you hear a person from the northeast speaking, you know it right away. As uh, as it's much the same, you know that if the person is from São Paulo, probably you know. I have difficulties distinguishing someone from São Paulo and Paraná. And uh, if you go to Paraná, the southern part of Paraná speaks more like the south, uh, southern dialects, like the gaúchos. But when you hear a person from Rio, you know right away. For instance, even uh, I've been in, in Japan for 12 years, if someone listens to me, they'll never think I'm from Minas Gerais or Espírito Santo. So Rio has a real character, and uh, that's why I suggest you to learn the Carioca Portuguese. It's going to be a little uh, 
if you will, a be a little cocky sometimes, but uh, I believe it's like uh, speaking like a person from California, so uh, has some character. Well, if you don't like character, maybe it'd be a good idea to learn Portuguese from Minas Gerais, which is neutral. They use the letter S, which, like in Sao Paulo, and the R is like Sao Paulo, and that's the case also with Espírito Santo. Anyway, uh, I hope you like this, and uh, please let me know what you, what you thought. Oh, last but not least, I talk about vowels uh, in nor Northeast dialect. If you want to know if the person from the North is region, just say, have him to say Fortaleza, which would be for the Fortaleza and uh, Recife. They'd surely say Recife, so uh, that's a way to distinguish North and East. Uh, please let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, please feel free to ask questions and uh, uh, see you in the next video. Muito obrigado por assistir. Thanks for watching. Uh, nos vemos no próximo vídeo. Tchau, tchau.